Ryan was a normal, happy child. However, his parents worried that he was not developing at the rate he should be. Doctors told the parents not to worry that all children develop at their own pace. When he was two, Ryan was still very clumsy and had a low amount of vocabulary. At this age, Ryan began to see a speech pathologist to determine what was wrong. It was then that the family found out Ryan had juvenile Tay-Sachs disease. Hexa gene is responsible for breaking down GM2 gangliosides in nerve cells. Without this gene, gangliosides build up in the brain and spinal cord. This buildup is toxic and can destroy neurons. Tay-Sachs usually strikes in early life around three to six months of age, when the child starts to have muscle weakness, low muscle tone, and increased startle response. Between six and ten months of age, the child will not meet motor milestones and may lose the ability to perform tasks that they had previously learned. The test for Tay-Sachs disease measures the amount of an enzyme called HEX-A in the blood. HEX-A breaks down fatty substances in the brain and nerves. This is an inherited disease in which the body cannot break down fatty substances as it should, so they collect in the nerve cells of the brain and damage them. There is no treatment for Tay-Sachs disease, but there are ways of making life more comfortable for those living with it. Treatment is mostly supportive and directed toward managing infectious disease, providing adequate nutrition and hydration, protecting the airway, and controlling seizures. The Duke Medical Center and the University of Minnesota have started using cord blood transplants to help stop T-Sachs disease from progressing. The transplant has low survival rates and is not considered an approved treatment option. For some, the transplant has worked. In these individuals where it has worked, they no longer have Tay-Sachs but they still live with the permanent damage that the disease caused. The cord blood transplant introduces blood into Ryan's body that has the HEX-A gene. Since Ryan's body will now have the HEX-A gene, it can start to break down the buildup of the gangliosides in his body.